everyone, it's Ashley and today is day five of Vlogmas. I am actually loving Vlogmas. I'm currently a video behind and it's simply because I just didn't have enough time to edit the vlog that I was supposed to post yesterday for you guys. But it's coming, I promise. I will catch up, the videos will catch up. Maybe, hopefully. <laughs> I don't know. Today's video is going to be a book tag video. I haven't done a book tag video in so long. It's actually kind of crazy. Today I'm going to be doing the festive Christmas time book tag. It was originally done by Girl Reading. I will leave the original video linked down below for you guys. And without further ado, let's get started. Question number one is a fictional family you would like to spend Christmas dinner with. And for this, I want to go with the same answer that she had in her video, which was the Weasleys from Harry Potter. Um, but for the sake of trying to pick something different, I'm I'm going to go with Laura Jean's family from To All the Boys I've Loved Before simply because I feel like it would be a really fun like family Christmas dinner to be around. It would be like kind of homey and there'd be lots of baked goods and I feel like I would get along with a lot of the people that would be at that Christmas dinner. However, my first answer would definitely, definitely be the Weasleys, but I was trying to be different. Question number two is a bookish item that you would like to receive as a gift. I feel like everyone is going to say the time turner because I think everyone wants the time turner, but I almost think that the time turner would have too much responsibility. You know, like messing with time is just, there's repercussions for things like that. Um, so I'm going to go with something different, but I don't know what I'm gonna go with. This is an abundantly hard question. I don't know if it's just because it's like 11.30 p.m. and I'm like half asleep or if it's actually just a really hard question to answer. I'm not sure if this would be like my final answer, but it's the answer that I'm coming up with right now specifically. And I would want the red moleskin notebook from Dash and Lily's Book of Dares full of all of the like writings and musings of Dash and Lily together. I feel like it would be like this really cool keepsake item and also I like have like a small place in my heart for moleskin notebooks. So that's my answer. Question number three is a fictional character that you think would make a perfect Christmas elf. And for this, I'm like thinking about like those really cute adults that dress up like elves and act really adorable with children and are just like fun loving and amazing. And I feel like Cricket Bell would be really good at that. I think he would probably look great. And I feel like he would also just like have like the demeanor and the mentality to be really good at it. So Cricket. Cricket Bell. Question number four is match a book to its perfect Christmas song. Uh, oh my goodness. This is also a really hard question. Why did I pick this book tag? I feel like this is a stretch, but I'm not gonna keep thinking about this question any longer because I've already spent way too much time thinking about it. So I'm going to go with All I Want for Christmas is You and I'm going to say An Abundance of Catherines by John Green. Simply because Colin just wants someone to love him. He just wants to find a Catherine that loves him. And I feel like that song is kind of really just about like needing a person who wants you. This, <laughs> this is my comparison. It's not the greatest comparison. I'm sure that if I had more time, I'd have come up with a better one. But for now, this is what I'm going with. That was my cell phone. And yes, that was Navi from Zelda. And I forgot to mute it before I filmed this video. Unfortunate. Question number five is Bah Humbug, a fictional character that you have been disappointed in and you think should be put on the naughty list. My instinctive answer in terms of a book that I've read recently would be Kaz, just because he doesn't make choices for the right reasons. But like, I'm not sure that I would say that like, I'm abundantly disappointed in him or that he should be on the naughty list because like, just backstory and swoon. But like, I, yeah, I'm gonna go with Kaz for now. Cause I'm gonna stop overthinking my answers for this book tag. Question number six is a fictional character that you think deserves more love and appreciation than they currently get, so you're going to put them on the good list. For this, I'm going to go with Bast from the King Killer Chronicles series. I feel like every time I talk to someone about this series, they talk about how much they love Kvothe and they talk about how much they love Ari or how much they love Denna, but I don't hear a lot of people who really, really love Bast, and Bast is one of my favorite characters. Sometimes I will look forward in the book just to see when the next chapter that he will be a part of is because I need Bast in my life. So I'm going to go with Bast, even though I feel like he would be on the good list regardless, I feel like he should be appreciated more than he is already. 
Question number seven is red, gold, and green. Show us a book cover that has a Christmassy feel to it. And for this, I'm going with an obvious one, and I'm going with The Twelve Days of Dash and Lily by Rachel Cohn and David Levithan. This cover is like probably the most Christmassy cover that I own, and I love it so much. And the last question is a book series that you love so much that you want everyone to find under their tree this year. And for me, that is a pretty obvious one if you've been following my channel for a while, and it is very, very easily The King Killer Chronicles by Patrick Rothfuss. I just cannot recommend this series highly enough. I love it so much. Like seriously, can you see all those tabs? Can you? Yes, I feel like you can. Love. Capital L underlined exclamation point. Couldn't recommend highly enough. Okay, so that is the festive Christmas time book tag. If you want to do this tag, please consider yourself tagged and make sure to comment down below with a link to your video so that I can watch it. Um, other than that, I am going to tag Susie from Read Susie Read and Jamie from Overgird Books because I love the two of them and they are two of my closest booktube friends. And I will see you guys soon with another video. Happy reading and happy Vlogmas. Bye! Good morning! It is Vlogmas day three today. I am currently in Melanie's car not driving because vlogging and driving would not be a thing to do. So we are currently on our way to work and I'm really excited because I borrowed one of Melanie's dresses today and it's my favorite color and it makes my eyes look super green and I'm really excited about it.